tests that I want to do is explain the features and benefits of a ZCS 1400 unit. What a ZCS is a stack shredder, granulator system, so the shredder's above it, the granulator's below, and the system does about 1500 pounds an hour. I'm going to open it up to show you what the inside looks like. The top part is your shredder with a 20 millimeter screen. You can get different size screens on this depending on your material. You can go 20 millimeter, 25, 30. And then down below is a complete granulator uh, with three sets of fly knives on it and two sets of stator knives. And this, this again will be able to take you down to a six millimeter screen, eight millimeter screen on the system. It's really easy to get to the shredder and get to the knives of it. To basically open up the screen, Let's see it's four bolts, five bolts right here. And then you have a hydraulic screen drop located here on your panel. The, the, the unit has regular safeties on it. This door will not energize unless the safety is locked and closed, and that prevents anyone from getting their hands into the system and touching it while it's, while it's moving. Over here we have a compact right next to it is a complete blower system for the material evacuation of the unit. So it's all in one. What the machine has on it are SEW gearboxes, SKF bearings, and WEG motors uh, driving the system. The systems normally come with a conveyor to feed it. Conveyors come with emergency stops on the sides of the unit. And they're very rugged conveyors, very strong conveyors, so if you drop material on it, you're not going to damage the conveyors that go through. Here's your WEG motor which drives the shredder portion of it. And again, an SEW gearbox. Your hydraulic unit is easily below, stationed below. You can't get to it because the screens where you want to do service it. You just basically take off uh, the bolts and the screen, you're able to get into it and service it very easily throughout the whole unit. On this side, you have the WEG motor, which then drives your granulator, which is below. And then we have a centralized control system to control it all. The control system controls your blower, your granulator, hydraulic unit for shredder, the shredder, and then your infeed conveyor. We have over temp alarms, oil alarms on it, and uh, overages for if, it's, if the machine comes over amped or anything like that, these yellow lights will go on. What's important about this machine is that the granulator and shredder speak to each other. If the granulator starts to amp up, it tells the shredder pull back on the ram, reduce the amount of material flowing into the system. So it's a fairly smart system to do it. It has special maintenance modes on it, reverses for your rams, and the ram comes in two, either a full stroke or basically a pulse stroke of the ram going into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and show you the wiring on the inside of the system. The componentry of this stuff is, is mainly Eaton systems and or uh, Simmons is what drives the system, so it's easily localizable components on the electric side. It's a very clean board. Each one comes with their own wiring diagrams and bill of materials for the wiring system, so it's easy to identify uh, the controls within the system, how it's wired, how it should function. And then it has a Simmons logic, logo logic here where you can then control certain parts about it. And what you want to control is how quickly the RAM moves forward, how quickly it moves backward. You can set various amperages on it if you want to have uh, the RAM come back when it's at 60% of amps of the granulator, or you can move it up to 70, depending on the type of material you're running um, in the system is how you'll adjust it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close everything off, turn back on the power, and then we'll run your test.